Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Makera Cam tutorial, and in this one we are talking about image files. Now, image files are pixelated raster images, usually in JPEG, PNG, or bitmap file format, and you can import these files in Makera Cam, but you are limited in what you can do with these types of files when we talk about subtractive manufacturing. This is a JPEG picture that I've imported that you can see here, and if I zoom in, we can see that it is a pixelated image. Because this isn't a vector file, I'm unable to click on the individual shapes or letters in this image file, which means I can't create my typical vector toolpaths to cut or engrave this. But there are a number of things we can do. The first is that you can go ahead and trace this image, which will convert it into being a vector. After importing a JPEG or PNG or other raster file type image, we can go edit and trace image once that image has been selected. Here, you can see that the shapes or the letters or whatever it is in your design will be highlighted with an outline. And you have a couple options. You can adjust the threshold, which will adjust how much of the image is traced to make sure that you're retaining all the detail you want, but perhaps ignoring fuzzy parts of your design. You can adjust the smoothness as well as adjust how it's optimized. And you could also choose to delete the image after tracing. However, once I've traced this image, we can see that an outline was created on layer one and the original image is still here on a separate layer. Now that this image has been traced, I can select this and create my vector toolpaths to go ahead and machine this image as if it was a vector image from the start. Now image tracing works best when working with high contrast black and white images, but you can also import photographs and color photographs like this will be turned into grayscale. Now, importing photographs like this can be used for laser engraving functions. For example, I can create a laser image path to actually engrave this image with my laser. And you might find that detail is lost because of the grayscale conversion. Before you create your paths, you can adjust the contrast and brightness of the image for more optimal results. If we go into the adjust image category, I can choose to increase the contrast or decrease the contrast, as well as adjust the brightness of my image and the gamma of my image. So when I create engraving paths, more detail can be retained. This is also handy if you did want to trace an image. Let's say I want to mill a silhouette of this dog. I can adjust the image first, then move forward with tracing the image to come up with an optimal result for manufacturing. The ability to import raster image file types like JPEGs and PNGs and then adjust them right in Makera Cam or trace them to become vector files allows you to import a wide range of design files to create incredible things through subtractive manufacturing with greater ease.